Greetings from a very warm, hot and sunny Bangkok. Today we've got an interesting little video coming up. I don't know how YouTube will react to this one. It's a little bit of a rude one. We're gonna, might be X-rated. Anyway, join me for a bit of afternoon entertainment in Bangkok. It's very handy that boat, saves time in all the traffic, as you can see the traffic is very slow, it barely moves, sometimes it's faster walking, anyway we've got like less than a 10 minute walk to one of Bangkok's more unusual sites, I guarantee there won't be any tourists at this place where we're going. So the place where we're going should be around here somewhere Nile Alert Park tucked away I presume away from all the paying guests so the security's just told me it's down this way as I said tucked away I presume don't be shocked by what we're gonna see wow that's nice, nice little uh, lake with a boat in it, let's go and have a look, maybe just have a little, little look around this side. <laughs> wow, very nice, nice garden, that looks like a restaurant. I think there's some kind of uh, hotel or something. Let's just have a look over here. I don't want to be embarrassing the customers. They got a boat, they got a couple of old boats over there. Very nice. Let's go and find this chow mei tuk tim. Quite a fancy complex where we've come to. They're a little bit busy with some construction, but they've got these nice little gardens everywhere. This is another one. Wow, check it out. And a little bench to sit down when you're tired. But the waterfall's not turned on at the moment. And the security's coming to chase me out. Better get to my destination. Might be uh, paid guests access only here. It's just abundant with gardens. Very nice. Nice little park. Wow. Nice bit of green space. In the centre of Bangkok. Wow. But I think we're going down here. And I'm completely lost. Let's ask this guy. Hello. Chow, chow mei tup tim. This way. So I've been sent this way. This, this way? Oh. On the, on the left, you see the spirit out there. Yeah. That is the chow mei tup tim. All right, thank you. Yeah. The spirit house so that's one of the uh, one of the stories behind this place uh, as I said not the usual tourist place and not what you would expect to see I'm assuming so while while most shrines and temples generally receive things like um, 
lotus flowers wow very nice lotus flowers oh it's I wonder if this is it but it looks very small yeah so while most places receive things like lotus flowers as offerings at the uh, temple this one receives something uh, rather different of a kind of phallic shape large and small in nature and uh, quite realistic by the looks of some of it but it's looking a lot smaller than what I expected so you can see all over there at the back there's a big one here a couple of smaller ones there and a big one over there okay so they have got some more traditional offerings but yeah this is a very traditional old temple and this uh, very well known all over Thailand apparently women come from all over Thailand to get pregnant because it represents the Chinese goddess of uh, fertility uh, or Chinese goddess sacred for prosperity abundance oh yeah as well as fertility right there so I think I might hang around for a little while and there's a couple of people I was asking about this place before wonder if she wants to get pregnant <laughs> this is this is what I was asking about <laughs> yeah but it's very small yeah very small how do you know right from uh, internet oh, you know God. you know I this know. very famous and la ladies coming because they want to get pregnant oh. yeah Oh, I put this one up here. Maybe, maybe I will get pregnant. So she's just <laughs> giving me this. <laughs> See if I get pregnant. I'll let you know how I get on in nine months. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Are you Are you going to put something? Yeah. <laughs> Do you, do you have uh, many like this in Thailand? Another one like this? Mm. Maybe no? No. no. <laughs> very, very unusual, very strange, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Chow Mei Tuk Tim. Yes. Okay. Where are you from? England. Oh. <laughs> and where, where are you from? From Thailand. From Bangkok? Yes, but yeah. I don't know. Okay, okay. Is yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Yeah, let's just have a little look around here. Looks very nice. That's where we walked around, around there before. We've just come around. <laughs> and it's a big garden. I don't know if it's a hotel. Wow, well, check it out. It's very nice. A lot of people working on the gardens. But it's hot, very hot, hot and sweaty. Little place for sitting down in there, crack open a few changs. <laughs> so, you've got a little gardener working over there. Certainly, very nice, worth a visit. A couple more statues, not quite so vulgar. Mind you, a bare, bo bare backsides, possibly. Little lotus pond. One or two flowers. Lotus flower over there. Wow, very nice. Just see two lotuses there. See them? Certainly a nice escape in the uh, centre of all that traffic. Hello. Hello. Is this a uh, hotel? Hotel? Is this hotel? 
Like, uh, so just open for public? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. There's a coffee shop there and also... Okay, also okay, yeah. Thank you. All right. I'll have a look up there. All right, thank you. So, yeah, so it's, it is a, like a heritage park and it's open for the public. So we'll have a look. Might as well take advantage. Let's have a look in here. Oh, you have to take your shoes off, I think to go in there very kind of traditional on the old stilts but these are not made of wood these are made of uh, concrete a lot of a lot of the older buildings are made of big thick wooden beams just in case they don't get wet and flooded Looks like they're getting ready to serve some dinner and an old car being used as a prop for photos. So I'll walk around the back. Wow, incredible, beautiful. Oh, we're back down near the end. That was that restaurant over there. And here's the boats. Down here, people taking photos. Let's have a little look around here. It's very nice. I'm glad I came now. A lot nicer than I expected. Another little shrine here. Got some little Garudas, elephants, and I'm not sure who that is up there. Another gardener, more people taking photos. So that's the end there. There's a gate, you can't get out there. And there's a moat around here. And this is as far as you can go. So... I'll have to go and find somewhere else to explore now. Hope you enjoyed that little walk around. I did think the uh, the Phallic Shrine was going to be a big place where you could walk inside. The pictures have changed, or the locations changed, compared to uh, what's on the internet. So this is an old Fiat. Wonder how many kilometres it's got on the clock. Can't see. I don't climb on it just in case I break it. I found something. Something left over from the Asia Pacific War. When the Japanese invaded well most of Asia and uh, specifically Thailand. It's an old bomb shelter. Not sure if you can see anything down there. A bit difficult to see. Not sure what that is. If that's an old bomb or an old bomb shell. Wow, a few shops up there. Nice. Blimey, those girls are still here. They must want to get preggers. Well, they've lit some incense now. You're still here. <laughs> You're still here. <laughs> you, you want to get pregnant? <laughs> no, 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 no. So it might have looked a bit strange to you. To you all out there. The, the strange looking symbols back there. We've seen a few of those on the streets of Bangkok. From very small pocket sized ones to very big gigantic ones but anyway that is actually a symbol of good luck and fertility here in thailand little golf cart that's what i need to get around yeah it's a sign of good luck and fertility here in thailand 
So that's probably why those people were hanging, a lot, hanging around for so long. <laughs> I guess you need a bit, of, a bit of good luck to get fertile. So they kind of go hand in hand. Anyway, thanks for watching. It's been another little adventure. And uh, I hope to see you in the next one.